Today we will review the dipstick Wi-Fi otoscope camera. So let's start with opening the box. So um, this one is the model WFE300. So they have uh, two models. They have a WFE350 as well. This one is WFE300. So um, the focal length of uh, the camera is different between the two models. So this one is uh, 3.9 millimeter. Just uh, uh, be aware of that. So let's open the box. So the first thing you will see which will be the dipstick otoscope camera device itself. So let's put that aside. And then underneath the packaging there is the micro USB, some attachments, um, two silicon attachments as well plus a microfiber with two silicon protections and then some paperwork so that is uh, if you register with dipstick you could get a 24 month uh, two years of extended warranty instead of just 12 that's always nice uh, they always uh, insert uh, a support card as well if you need any help um, that's always good and then the user manual so um, just as we open the user manual um, let's kind of cover a little bit uh, the um, uh, technical data uh, of uh, this device specifically model number WFE300 there are two model numbers so I will cover the uh, key ones camera resolution you have 30 frames per second or 15 frames per second and then camera lens is 100 watt 720p camera voltage is 3.3 volt focal length is 15 millimeter and horizontal viewing angle is uh, 70 uh, uh, degrees so um, to um, use the uh, otoscope uh, step number one obviously you have to uh, get the app this is a different if you have another uh, uh, dipstick um, device uh, this is a different app just be aware of that they have two different apps um, and then uh, basically you will connect the device through the Wi-Fi and uh, there's a password there and um, uh, you will be on your way to uh, see the images um, as soon as you have that set up so download the uh, app uh, connect through Wi-Fi directly to the device use the passcode and uh, open the app you should be on your way so uh, micro USB here um, pretty standard as an attachment uh, it gets connected to the back of the uh, device itself um, there is this uh, Ziploc bag with alcohol pad uh, if you use this device obviously you're gonna need uh, a few more um, so um, to make sure it's uh, sanitized and clean uh, these are silicone uh, protections uh, they go on the top of the tip of the device of the camera uh, for protection uh, so they are pretty snug as, as you put them in and uh, these two uh, um, pieces of plastic uh, I think uh, probably you're familiar with them in doctor's office uh, they um, are uh, uh, used on top of the camera so there's a large one and there's a small one and then there is this uh, uh, attachments uh, they, they look like uh, um, like uh, scoops uh, like micro uh, mic uh, ice cream scoops uh, I think uh, they are for uh, pulling out wax uh, out of ears uh, I think um, so uh, yeah and this one is a see-through scoop as well so um, I, I will not be using those in my review I just I'm sensitive to use those inside ears so um, um, but uh, they are there if you want to use them so
let's look at the unit itself, uh, the camera. Um, the device itself uh, is uh, uh, pretty sturdy uh, to the touch. Uh, it feels good. Um, it feels as made of uh, high quality plastic and uh, the um, chrome stainless steel, whatever. Um, I'm, I haven't looked deeper into the material of it, but uh, the chrome is, is uh, pretty nicely made and uh, uh, it looks uh, pretty solid. Uh, so you press and hold the power button and uh, uh, the button itself lights up with the white color and then uh, the blue LED uh, shows uh, your connection to your uh, phone. So as you can see the cameras, uh, the, uh, you press it one time, uh, uh, the light goes uh, dimmer and then off. So uh, uh, either full on, uh, less light or off. Uh, so uh, the blue blinking uh, basically is seeking Wi-Fi connection. Uh, as soon as you connect that, um, uh, you, the, the blue should turn to a solid light. Um, this one is low in power, I think, and this is why the uh, power button white uh, light is blinking as well. Uh, you press and hold, uh, you turn it off. So um, uh, the functionality is pretty simple. Uh, basically, uh, press hold turns it on, uh, press hold turns it off, and then uh, two mo uh, three modes of light, uh, full, uh, uh, half, uh, or off. It's full, half, or off. So yeah, it's a solid device uh, in my uh, first impression. And uh, let's look a little bit at the, uh, just uh, the functionality of uh, the power button. So um, uh, like I said, the blue one is LED indicator, uh, long press, power on off, short press, adjust brightness, uh, three brightness there, solid, uh, full, half or off, and then the micro USB. So let's uh, start looking at the app setup and uh, try out some samples. So I already have downloaded the app. So you start the Dipstick uh, app and then you have to configure the Wi-Fi uh, right away so that you get the connection with the app. So just to quickly review the app, uh, as soon as you click on the camera icon it will ask you to get access to your uh, photo library which uh, I said it's okay uh, and then uh, every time you click picture it flickers that means the picture is taken but when you click video um, it shows you the counter and then there's the 90 degree rotation and all, obviously you could rotate your picture by just turning the device itself as well to go to the folder you could look at the pictures here it tells you one of, one of two, two of two, you could delete them or select delete them. You could go to the video, you could play it back, and then also you could do the same thing. You could select the video and delete the video uh, as well. Pretty straightforward. Um, the key functions are there for you to be able to use. And uh, the settings, you have the resolution to configure you could change your password, uh, you could uh, set a different Wi-Fi SSID um, different than the uh, original one that came with. So you have a bunch of options here to uh, um, configure. Uh, that pretty much is straightforward. Um, there's not, nothing really complicated about it. So let's go test the device. So this one is uh, basically uh, inside the ear. I wasn't comfortable to be honest to do this and uh, I, I personally don't think I will do it again but it is uh, pretty interesting uh, just kind of to see how effective it is in terms of camera resolution and just the capability of the tool itself to be able to um, look at something like this uh, uh, quickly using your phone and uh, this camera device. But uh, I wanted to utilize the device to do uh, some other uh, uh, uses as well. Uh, in addition to kind of examining ears or nose, um, I wanted to see uh, if I could use it as a magnifier or uh, 
uh, in addition to uh, magnifier also to look at things um, that don't require an endoscope uh, long probe so you could see here this is the uh, Thunderbolt connection for the iPhone 12 Pro uh, you could see how uh, it magnifies uh, the image and uh, clearly you could see inside um, the iPhone 12 Pro it's a little bit reflective you could see here try to look at your iPhone 12 Pro uh, speakers uh, these are tiny holes um, but you could see how it shows uh, any sort of dirt in them or uh, micro things that are attached to them uh, not possible to see them on your uh, naked eye uh, pretty useful I thought uh, from that perspective there are additional uses for this uh, not just as a uh, otoscope medical otoscope so this one is a USB port uh, you could look inside and look if there's any misconnection or anything like that um, I thought that was pretty good as well um, so uh, I personally like this device a lot I think I'm gonna use it mostly as just another uh, probless uh, endoscope if you will uh, for uh, looking at things so when you disconnect the device it just freezes and uh, it so in conclusion um, I really like the device I think it's made uh, uh, really well uh, it feels pretty sturdy and quality product uh, as you as you work with it uh, the app and the device both are pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward. Uh, the learning curve is almost non-existent. Um, I, I think in addition to what's intended to, uh, I personally uh, really enjoyed using it and I think I uh, would probably use it a lot as a, a probeless uh, endoscope. Uh, I think uh, if you uh, don't have to inspect any sort of uh, plumbing or deep, um, you know, uh, uh, objects that you require a long probe, uh, I think this one is pretty effective uh, to use. Uh, and uh, the magnification, the light, uh, the ability to insert about uh, an inch uh, long probe inside and you have full control over it, I think uh, I could consider that fully useful. Uh, so, uh, like it a lot, uh, enjoyed using it, and uh, I highly recommend it uh, as well. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, uh, like and subscribe to support the channel. I uh, really appreciate you. Thank you.